Welcome once again to Men of Platinum Presents Direct Hit, a very special segment where we pick a player who's uh, stood out for his indomitable spirit and unwavering values just like Platinum. And we had quite the game between Pakistan and Sri Lanka at Hyderabad, arguably the game of the tournament so far. Anil Kumble with me, I keep referring to him as a man of Platinum as well. And as we, uh, before we get to the player that Anil has picked, we're going to do quick uh, five uh, questions that we that feature on this directed segment. So let's go for it, Anil. Uh, first up, has Pakistan's batting performance now taken the pressure of Babar Azam for the remainder of the World Cup? Yes, of course. I mean, we we all thought that you know it's a big score. If you have to chase this down uh, against Sri Lanka, then you need a Babar Azam to score runs. Uh, but despite that, Pakistan won comfortably. So all the more that uh, Babar Azam will feel that okay, this team is you know fine, he just needs to now go and bat, instead of thinking, saying that look, what if I get out, then what will happen? All right, next up is Abdullah Shafiq here to stay now, and could he be Pakistan's next big thing? He looks very good, mm. uh, he got his opportunity today, gets a hundred, and in that partnership with Rizwan, he was the dominating force there, taking the strike rate higher, whereas Abdullah Shafiq was brilliant and his sense of understanding of the situation and then playing to the situation, putting pressure on the bowlers was uh, exceptional. So, credit to him. Was this knock the best you've seen of Kushal Mendes' career? Oh, he is brilliant. Uh, he was outstanding today. Uh, the kind of shots that he played was, uh, was exceptional. I mean, he was not facing some 130 kilometers per hour. He was mm. facing at almost 150. And the way he hit them consistently out of the park. And this is not a small ground either. So, in that sense, brilliant batting today with an exceptional 100. And, and what strike rate. Right. Is Matisha Patirana still a work in progress cricketer? Yes, of course. Mati, you know, he's, he's more a T20 kind of a bowler, youngster. Too much uh, pressure on uh, Patirana here to now lead the attack as a, as a young bowler, especially with the kind of action that he has. It's very difficult for him to be consistent. And we saw that today with, with uh, him losing the radar and bowling those wides. Is Mohamed Rizwan among the top three ODI batters on form? He is, uh, mm. because he sort of absorbs the pressure. And then not just that, he plays to the situation, he is good between the wickets, he plays the spinners well, has the sweep shot. Uh, what was really impressive today was uh, Whenever he was under pressure, we have generally seen Rizwan taking the mid-wicket route or the square leg route. But to the spinners today, he was going over extra cover, which I haven't seen that often. So obviously, he's worked on his game. The two games that Pakistan have won is thanks to his uh, batting. Despite all the pain that he had to go through towards the back end of his innings, he still remained not out, unbeaten, carrying the team through. And I guess fittingly then, Rizwan is your choice for a man of platinum? Yes, uh, I'm sure he was uh, the perfect choice and also for his composure, for his calmness that he showed. And I mean, if you look at values that we must discuss associated with platinum when we discuss our man of platinum, let's talk about self-belief first because this seems to be a player of immense self-confidence with the way he carries himself around, whether through injury or not. It just seems like Mohamed Rizwan is the kind of character you want in the team for these kind of tough situations, self-belief is something else, isn't it? When you look at a Rizwan, you don't think of him as a technically sound batter. I mean, mm -hmm. if you compare him with a Babar Azam. Yeah. I mean, we saw against Netherlands, yeah. the first ball he swept. And you don't generally see that uh, in a batter. So, yes, in that sense, he mm. brings in all those characteristics. Uh, and, and as a middle-order batter, you need that, number four, to soak the pressure. And, and then keep the momentum of the game going forward. Mm. And that's exactly what he did today. Yeah, I mean, there's self-belief when you talk about values. There's also courage when you talk about values. And a man of platinum needs to have that. And courage is something Anil Kumble knows full well. When the body isn't at its 100%, I'm sure the body was giving him trouble. It's hot this time of year in our country. The courage to just carry on? Yeah, brilliant. I mean, he was there right throughout the 100 overs. You know, 50 overs of keeping. Keeping wickets is not easy. It's not like any other fielder. You have to be involved every ball. Literally staying those 100 overs in that heat and uh, getting through requires a lot of courage. Yeah, so he had the courage, he had the self-belief that makes him a worthy 
man of platinum for this segment. But there was also a lovely moment there which showed us some compassion and other value you associate with platinum. And that came from the opposition. Sadira Samara Vikrama had scored 100 of his own, like Anil Kumble said, had also had to take the gloves then. So he was having a tough day. But it was nice to see when Rizwan was struggling and you could see he was really struggling with uh, the cramp. The opposition player came to just help him out, perhaps even before the physio did. Yeah, yeah. I think you know he was the closest to Rizwan. So yes, when you when you get the cramp, uh, it's it's it just takes over. It's very difficult for you to even think and move mm. move your body. And and it was nice of uh, Samra Vikrama to just assist uh, Rizwan there. It's lovely. We saw some courage, some self belief, some compassion. Big thank you to Anil Kumble as always for his time and his thoughts and for his selection of Mohammed Rizwan as our man of platinum. This was a direct hit presented by Men of Platinum.